Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Now one of the things that I love to build are mini subs. I love to have a small submarine that you could put on a big ship or fast ship go fast and then stop somewhere go explore and see the underwater world put it back up and all that good stuff now with this new update that hit the workshop recently the space update which included all the compressed gases i found that my mini subs were not all working properly specifically the con 3 here mini sub that you see behind me this one was not working at all the ballast tank was not filling up so i set out to see why exactly that is and in doing so i created these tests that you see, these experiments, and we're going to go through the experiments and see what it is that makes a ballast tank work, what exactly does not make it work, we're hopefully going to learn some tactics, some tricks, and I will show you what is wrong with my mini sub first. So on my mini sub, if I try to use it, fill up the ballast tank, I'm supposed to get up to 5000 liters, but what happens is right around half of that. It starts to taper off and then it kind of just stops now the reason why I suspect this is is because this is only a gravity fed system there are no pumps it just opens this ballast door and the water is supposed to rush in now what's happening is the air inside this tank is preventing more water from coming in it's acting pretty much as if it was a moon pool but the more digging I did I found ones that are not even moon pools so ballast tanks that just use pumps are not really working as efficiently as they could so something was up so i devised these tests the first test you see here is just going to have exactly what my, what my mini sub has it's a fully gravity fed system i mean i know it's not exactly gravity but the door opens there are no pumps it just comes in because the spaces are now joined so we're going to see how that works this button operates the ballast tank door what we have on all of these tests is the gas level the liquid level and the pressure inside this area here this top one shows the pressure of the entire vessel because until the uh, pressure equalizes you'll see that we have to wait a little bit so that's why that top dial is there next experiment is just your classic two pumps one pump in one pump out all it has is the fluid port, so there is no filter. And the reason I call it a filter, I know there are some comments, is because when you search filter, you actually do just get these two relief valves. We no longer have a proper filter. It's now just these two valves. So I'm going under the assumption that the gas relief one allows gases to pass only, and this one, the liquid relief valve, only allows liquids to pass through a system. Anyway, in this experiment, there is none of those filters. All it is is two pumps, a vessel. I'm calling this little thing here a vessel, even though technically also this whole thing is a vessel, but actually I'll call this my ballast tank. So technically here, the ballast tank just has two pumps and that's it. Now the next one, same system, two pumps, except now we actually have a liquid relief valve. So a liquid filter attached to the ballast tank pumps. Other than that, the exact same, there is no pressure relief valve on the top. Next one is the same, except not. So in this case here, we just have our fluid ports, or yep, our fluid ports, the new ones, and on the top, we have a fluid port. So this one does not regulate gas or liquid, it is just purely ports. One is on the top to allow pressure to leave, presumably, and these guys on the bottom will allow water in, presumably. The next one is, again, just the single ports on the bottom, no filters. But on the top, we now have a filter, a gas filter, on our port. So, gas relief valve on that port for the ballast tank. Next one. We have a gas filter on our relief valve for the air to escape, so it's only gases escaping, and on the bottom we now have a liquid filter to only allow liquids into the ballast tank chamber. Okay, we're almost there. Next one. Now is where we get fancy. I wanted to put pumps and see how it works if I have pumps pumping the air while we have these pumps pumping in water. Now what exactly works is when we press this button here to fill up our ballast tank with water 
this pump gets activated and it starts to to pump in water simultaneously the air gets pumped out okay keep that in mind so as we're pumping in water we're pumping air out to make sure that the pressure doesn't build that's kind of the attempt of this test this next one is identical except now i put gas gas um, filters on these pumps so only air can get pumped in and out on the top whereas the bottom just pumps in everything so the bottom one does not regulate air or water now this test here we reversed it so funny enough this one here as i'm pumping in keep that in mind as i'm pumping in water I'm also pumping in air, whereas this other test, I was pumping out air to kind of make room for the water, whereas this one, I'm pumping in both air and pumping in water, okay? And then on this last one, same system, we're both pumping in air and pumping in water. This time, there's filters on the air. So I'm going to go ahead and spawn this, and you see the pressure has to get relieved because even though there is an open top, it starts off pressurized because the water is displacing all this area. We've now equalized the pressure. You can see it's not going up anymore. So this one is just the single door, like what we had on my mini sub. Now if we press this button, it acts just like a moon pool. So it does not fill up all the way. It filled a tiny bit of liquid up out of 700. So out of 700, a tiny little bit filled up but the pressure is just a little higher than the pressure around us, so that's why it's not letting any more water in. So this is the right way to make a moon pool. Why it filled up in my mini sub, I'm guessing, is because the whole system was tilted. If you tilt, if you tilt this vessel, allowing the ballast tank to uh, have an angle, it will allow some water in, but not a lot. So anyway, this system does not work, so we're gonna fail it. Over here, we just have our, call it our old school system. It's just two ports. I know they're the new ports, but they could be the old ports. So it's just two ports, two, two pumps, one in, one out, nothing else. No relief valve, nothing else. So this is, call it your standard ballast tank. Now, if you start pumping in, you can see that the pressure is going to start to rise. And it slows down. And then it kind of gets low while it's filling up because the pressure is giving it resistance, I believe. And that pressure is increasing, but eventually we will have 700. So we will fill this up all the way. It just takes a little bit of time and it struggles here at the end as this pressure increases like crazy. So almost at 700 now, but if I turn off this pump and turn this on, watch this. It's going to shoot out fairly fast because that pressure just shot that water right out. And keep this in mind, you actually end up creating a bit of a vacuum. So now it's not negative pressure, but it's low pressure. So you create a low pressure system or a vacuum. And now when we do go to fill in, to fill up this chamber the next time, it should go much faster because there wasn't that initial bit of, um, pressure holding it in. Now, if you keep pressing this, it's going to keep adding more um, pressure. But if you stop it, it's pretty much at 100% capacity. So maybe a good system would be to have this in your ships. But instead of you having to use it the first time, they self drain of all air. So like imagine you spawn a ship and it automatically pumps out for the first little while until the gas reaches zero in which case then you have almost zero pressure you have a very low pressure system and it will fill up much faster so that is just your pure filth pure system and actually this works so i think this is a go this is not bad now on this one we have filters so we just have water or liquid filters here no relief let's try it out now, interestingly enough, the gas level does rise a bit, but check out how fast that filled. Now again, not 100%, so we can keep it going until it reaches close to 100, but it is pressurizing up. 
Now if I go to drain it, that high pressure should let it come out pretty fast. But it actually does keep draining the gas. So I'm not quite sure. So I, in my opinion, I think something is glitched with these filters. I know people were saying, no, they're not filters. But if we take a look at the workbench, they're called filters. Like there's no more filter at all. There's only these guys. And they're supposed to allow liquid or gas through them. Now I will do another video where we have the two-way like T, the T joint, where I have one of these filters for air and one of the filters for liquid, or gas and liquid, and it's kind of a T junction. But in this case, I didn't want to do that. I just wanted the simple singular ones, but it still did drain our gas out and it still did create a low pressure system. So my question is what on earth is the difference between these two systems? Why does this one fill up so much faster? I think, I mean, if I had an orange button or a yellow button to say what is going on, I'd press it. But technically, this system does work. It's very slow now to fill it up to 100%, but it does still kind of work. Now, over here, we have, <laughs> we already have liquid in here. And how we have that liquid is because all three of these, this one has a relief valve on top to relieve the pressure. But all of them are just regular ports. There is no filter on any of these so it actually filled up this area with water when the system was high pressure remember we waited for this to drop down so the pressure the system was high pressure it actually filled this whole chamber up with water now it's not relieving it releasing the water very easily it does fill it up all the way or close to i think nope no it bounces around because water is coming out of that thing like a fountain head so I would say this is very unstable. I would not recommend this. Do not have a system with just fluid ports, especially if you're trying to relieve pressure with it. This one has a fluid port, but it has a gas filter on the top. So if we try to let in liquid, it struggles again, see? And technically, it should not be building pressure, but it is still building some pressure, so I don't know if it's because these guys are allowing water and air through because our but our gas is still dropping even though our pressure is increasing so it's letting something out it's still increasing in pressure but it's technically decreasing in gas amount even though we're filling it up now we have pretty high pressure here and we're at 700 so this actually works i'd say this is a yay it works if we go to empty it out it doesn't have that high um, pressure to shoot it out so it does struggle at the very end now but it does seem to drain it eventually so there's a gas filter on top of that valve and down here there's just purely a vent it allows air and it allows um, water through so this is a pretty decent system it works kind of fast it does stop a tad but it also fills up all the way. So this is not a bad system comparatively, but anyways, like I said, it kind of struggles a bit. Now here we have a liquid filter on the bottom. So these, this one is only allowing liquid to be pumped in and gas pumped out. So if we go do this, we're increasing our liquid it's releasing the gas, so the gas is actually leaving out of that top port. The pressure is still increasing a little bit because we are flooding this chamber with liquid, so you won't ever have, I mean, you'll always have high pressure if you fill something in unless it's open to the top because it still needs space. So in this case here, we're almost at 700. Yes, the pressure is increasing, it's not too high, but the gas number is still dropping. We'll say this is full. Now let's see what happens when we empty it. So again, only water is going through these pumps and only air is coming out of this top. So we still did create a vacuum. There's low pressure in here. We've released all the liquid. Now there's still some gas and it should slowly start to fill back up to atmospheric pressure, just using that 
there and it's slowly coming in. So this will slowly start to come again to one atmosphere. Um, it's very similar to those first ones I showed you there, the green ones, except for the fact that eventually this will equalize in pressure and be ambient pressure, let's call it, or atmospheric pressure. It does struggle a little bit, but overall in a, as a system it does work. Now in my head, this is the most logical system in a way that we're only allowing liquid in through these pumps and we're only allowing gas out through that top valve. So like in my head, this is the most logical system. Um, does Stormworks follow that? I don't know. There must be a, uh, a fluid dynamic reason for this, hopefully. But as you can see, we're full now. The gas is slowly coming out. So this slowly will start to drop as well. So this is still a go. Whether it's the fastest system, that's to be determined. Now we're on to the fancy ones. So, like I said, these pumps now, as we pump water in, we're pumping air out. So air is coming out, water is coming in. But because of the pressures, that actually does not happen. You end up doing we really weird stuff here. And funny enough, when you press pump out, it will start to fill up with water, even though we're technically pumping it out. Now, maybe because we're pumping it in through the top, I don't quite know how that is working, but all of these ports do not have a filter. So this is a big no. This is broken. It does not work. You cannot, you're pumping in, but it's also filling it up. And then if you press this pump in, you're actually going to start to drain it. So anyway, this does not really work logically. It's maybe logical for someone, but I don't want to take the time to understand it because there are systems that actually do work. Now this one here, same one as that, except now we have the top only having gas going through them. So only gas, only air is being pumped out now as the water is being pumped in. So you can see it's kind of rising up slowly. The gas is still increasing, interestingly enough. The pressure is of course increasing so this system actually does work. But it's also pumping in gas, probably from these bottom ones. So gas is coming in through these and then being pumped out there. So I'd say so far this works. Let's see if we try to pump it out. Now here, in this case, we're actually pumping air in. At least we're trying to. So even though we're pumping out down here, air should be trying to come in and that's kind of reflected here you see the numbers aren't dropping so fast so this one works not bad now here we have the opposite remember what I said is as we're pumping in water we're also pumping in air now look at that that filled up really fast And it's building up pressure. We're increasing the amount of gas in here. Now, if we go to press this, we're going to be pumping out water and pumping out air simultaneously. It pumps out so fast. So in my opinion, this is the best system from what I've seen. It fills it up very quickly. And it drains it very quickly. Now notice on this one, there are no filters. Okay meaning the top there is p pumping in air because it's out of the water. It's not submerged, whereas these guys are submerged. If the water was all the way to the top, that would also be pumping in water. Now this system here has the same configuration. We're pumping in water and pumping in air, but this time there's an air filter on the top or rather a gas relief valve. So if we try to pump in, It seems to be struggling, but we're only get letting in air at the top. So it's building in pressure. We're letting in air in the bottom and in the top, but air and water in the bottom. So here we have it. We've kind of filled it two thirds of the way. Let's try to empty it. I want to see what happens and how fast it goes. Okay, so it's emptied it out. 
fairly quickly to here, struggling a little bit. All right, let's just say that's empty. Does this work faster now because we're at some kind of lower pressure? It actually does up until the halfway point, and then it starts to slow down. So it's definitely not as fast as the system with the two pumps, but was this faster because there was physically two pumps, or was it faster because there was one pump letting in air and one pump letting in water? So I would, I mean, this is an orange one again. It's probably maybe both, like it worked, but not as good as this one. So that gives us some idea of what to do for the mini sub by keeping this chamber here, but I believe I turned it off. So it's not even functional. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it because it not does nothing anymore. I've only added pumps in the front now. We got this little kind of grill next to the light. It looks nice, but behind it is functional. We have a pump in and a pump out. Neither of them have any of the filters. So they're just purely pumping in whatever is there and they're pumping out whatever is there. Most likely it will be water because the sub is ideally submerged. So in this case, if we go into it, that was a terrible miss. If we go into it and try to fill it up with ballast, fill ballast. We have to get to 5,000. So it's taken a bit of time, but it's going past that halfway mark and we're approaching 5,000. So here we have it. We've now reached neutral buoyancy. And if I want to empty my ballast, I press that. This number should actually start to drop. Perfect, it's pumping out that stuff. Now maybe I could add an atmosphere gauge to know the pressure or barometer inside the inside the uh, tank. But really, I don't think that bothers me so much in this case. I will make new subs. I will make ones that actually have like a proper purge where you open up a gas tank and it shoots in gas, pressurizes it, shoots it out. But this works well enough, in my opinion. We've reached kind of that empty area which is fine. I mean, 500 liters in a 5,000 liter tank is 10%. That's not a big deal. Now, this this sub did get some balance issues after the update. That is does have to be resolved. But regardless, we've at least solved the issue of the ballast tanks not filling up. So, thank you all for watching. Hopefully, you learned something in this video. And stay tuned for more. And as always, happy stormworksing.